April showers bring May flowers, and that is just more than the ones in Animal Crossing. Netflix is springing up with new movies and series, as well as some returning favorites. As always, these come from a list of shows and movies coming to the US Netflix only. We'll share the full list at the end of the video. May is Asian Pacific American History Month, and what a way to celebrate it than with some love stories. There's already Mindy Kaling's Never Have I Ever, and of course, To All the Boys I've Loved Before. And now we have The Half of It, which follows a quiet, studious Ellie Chu who befriends a jock writing love letters to a popular girl they both happen to like. Twisty. Very, very twisty. I'm into the idea of giving the teens more credit for understanding and grappling with more than just one type of love. We need more of that in teen dramedies, in my opinion. I love you. He's a criminal! Move, move, move. And for a love story with considerably more laughs than angsty teenagers, there's The Lovebirds starring Kumail Nanjiani and Issa Rae coming to Netflix on the 22nd. Originally planned for a theatrical release, but now debuting on Netflix, The Lovebirds follow a couple who accidentally finds themselves in the middle of a murder plot and must find a way to clear their names. Nanjiani and Rae are some of the funniest people in Hollywood, and I'm super excited to see this movie when it comes out. Is it gonna shit on me? Ryan Murphy and Ian Brennan's Hollywood stars Darren Chris, Samara Weaving, Laura Harrier, and others as actors and filmmakers trying to make it in a post-World War II Los Angeles. And since it's from the mind of Murphy, you know that this series is going to be full of sex, scandal, and maybe murder? Whatever spin Murphy puts on it is sure to be a wild ride. All right, everyone, roll camera. Extra, extra, the unbreakable Miss Schmidt is getting married. And yes, to a literal prince. But before Kimmy can do that, she and her friends must face the reverend one more time in another of Netflix's interactive experiences. The unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt, Kimmy versus the reverend. Will they succeed? Who knows? The choice is yours. This is a pickle. How do we choose? Maybe you can help us. That's it. Titus, you're a genius. I know. Uncut Gems starring Adam Sandler is finally coming to the US Netflix on the 25th. And friends, it is worth the wait. You set the dangerous game of hot potato during the 2012 NBA Eastern Conference semifinals at the weekend and feature a blinged out Furby, and you have the most stressful and most exhilarating film of 2019. And at this rate, it'll probably be the most stressful film of 2020 as well. Maybe this time we can get a much deserved Oscar nomination for Adam Sandler. Huh? I told you about how things were gonna go. You like the way things are going now? From the minds of Greg Daniels, who created The Office, and our US government, comes Space Force, a new office comedy full of ensemble veterans such as Steve Carell, Ben Schwartz, Jimmy O. Yang, Lisa Kudrow, and John Malkovich as they figure out how to conduct space warfare to protect Earth or something. We're, not, we're still not really sure what this agency is supposed to do, but maybe that show will help clear it up for us. You've got to come back with me. Where? Back to the future. A few other movies coming to Netflix. Back to the Future Part 1 and Part 2. Yes, I know, it's back again. It's like Back to the Future is playing with its own timeline to jump on and off Netflix. But you know what? That's okay, because we are always happy when it's there. And if somehow you've run out of things to watch, both Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory and Charlie and the Chocolate Factory will be on Netflix at the same time. Fun idea, play both movies at the same time on different screens and maybe some weird dark side of the moon stuff might happen. Let me know. And those are some of our picks for everything coming to Netflix in May. What are you looking forward to the most? Let us know. Now here's the full list as promised. See you next month. <laughs>